Welcome everyone to another episode of Le Plata, where, as you guys know, Call of Us friends. Yeah, kind of figured that was gonna happen because, like, I remember last episode we had that big event where it was like, oh yeah, remember we have all these housing lodges problems? Yeah. Um, and can't really help you anymore, Wally. I'm not a great power. <laughs> That's a sad point. Is that I'm not really a great well actually wait I could have entered that war and protected them nah I wouldn't have ended well either way because then it'd just be another long war and honestly we don't have enough money to pay for another long war but yeah as you guys know we had a major event happen last turn where I basically lost all my no you ain't getting military access to me which actually might be the downfall because I don't think they can get anywhere over here so hey they might win just by default but anyways, yeah, if you guys remember last turn, we had a major event happen to us where we basically got cut down again. And now we're rapidly sliding down ranks. I mean, we're rapidly sliding down ranks. We're also trying to repay back all of our loans that we took. We have about 200k more, about 2 million more loans. Once the 2 million more loans collapses, let phase 2 start. Make sure you guys do it when I actually have money, please. The simulation must continue. I'm not letting a simulation speed up. Well, then you guys get away with that. So let's see. A Lavix Expedition would actually be very useful right by now. Please give me a Lav Lavix Expedition. Yes! Back in the eighth place! Okay, never mind. Maybe I should have paid attention to that, uh, to that uh, warning. Okay, am I still eighth? Yes! Oh, suck it, Austria! Suck it! Oh. <laughs> uh. Okay, I'm back in my happy mood now. <laughs> uh, all it took was just the fact that I still am a great power even after my stupidity in terms of finance. Yeah, I swear, I swear, La Plata, I feel, s Argentinians, I feel so sorry because I feel like, what is that smell? Malaria. Oh, that's a lovely smell. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, conservatives. Give me more prestige. I need to I need to kind of build up my time slots so I can get back into good situations. I don't really think what? There's a crisis right now going on where in Russia? Oh. Okay, and it's the urban free states I'm guessing. Uh, that doesn't really create that much. I remember creating it one time and it was very unuseful. So anyways, guys, we are back into the game where I am basically becoming you know, almighty powerful person and doing lots of creation because that's what I do. And we're getting our, we're basically, like I said, just really repaying back our economy or really repaying back all the people we owe because, oh my, you guys don't want, do you guys want to become socialists or do you not want to become socialists? Because I'm getting a very mixed vibe between you people. Like you say you want to become liberal and then you say you want to become socialist. Then you say you want to become liberal and then you say you want to become socialist. I don't really care about yeah, there we go. No one really cares enough. Germany apparently is also number one, but I don't think they're gonna win their war. Honestly. Wait. Did they actually land troops? No. They don't even have an army over here. They're not gonna win. So, I won't intervene in this war unless... Unless they actually have troops over here. But... If they don't have troops over here, there's really no point in me actually fighting this. Uh... To put it bluntly, I don't need to fight this if they don't have troops. And if they do have troops, then, oh my goodness, I'm going to have to go fight this, and I really don't want to right now. Because as you guys can see, I'm still just... We still have at least a good amount of debt left. And I'm a nation that kind of prides myself in paying back all my debt, so... Yeah. We need to do all that. And... Yeah, we really need to pay back all this debt. Okay, steamer convoys, crop rotation. That's good. And apparently our Colombian allies are being recovering too. I mean, we're doing pretty good. Most of our factories are actually still doing pretty well. Even due to the fact that we did have another bank collapse. Uh, like, I really, our financial history is never going to be written very well for our country. It's going to be like, oh yeah, they collapsed the bank again. Oh yeah, they collapsed the bank again. Oh yeah, they collapsed the bank again. It's going to be written very much like that. Apparently, we have a very scary Bolivian nationalist lazy the able to adapt. All these guys are really starting to scare me because I really... Do I have to pass a reform or something? 
Let's see, what do you guys really want? Just jingoism. That's good to know. You guys really are warlike people. I love when my people are warlike. Oh, I see. You're just getting... Oh, I see. You're just getting the uh, prestige for just blockading, right? Uh, but you should lose the war because you actually don't have any troops over here. Oh, my goodness. They should lose. Okay, apparently my thing's blinking that I might die and become a, uh, you know, ninth dairy power. But as I said before, I'm not, I'm not dropping down to that lowest status again. We already did that once in this game. Now I'm not doing it again. Let's go pay back another, another bit of our money problems. Keep about 100k because I don't know when they're going to flash another event of one of those, uh, Panamian deals. And it's going to be like, hey, 100k. I'm going to be like, ah, okay. And then go bankrupt again. Which would then definitely put me down to like ninth day power. Wow. Can you guys stop flashing between 8th and 9th? It's kind of annoying me. Okay. Okay. And it would honestly, you know, to be honest, it probably would help if I actually built like actual ships to like help with my military. You know, it would actually kind of help if I just built my military back up again. Uh. Can I actually do that? Well, let's see. This is the meeting place. What would this, well, what would I need for this army? It basically, well, it needs a horseman, and it needs, let's see, could I actually build any of this stuff? I need one horseman, and one soldier, and one engineer, okay? Let's see if my troops, let's see if I can actually build that, or am I, or am I really just broke and I really can't do anything? I would not doubt if I'm really just broke and I can't do anything, people. And apparently I'm going to have to increase my clergyman here very, very soon because apparently we're not getting that extra bonus and I kind of hate that. We're also not getting our clerks bonus anymore. Oh, I love both of those bonus. We're also 5.4 million people in our country. Does that mean we have another Irish, like, massive people in our country? Aww. I was hoping we may have another Irish, like, paradise over here. That was awesome. Like when we had it. Uh, and as you guys can see, like I said, the Germans aren't going to win this because they aren't actually sending in any troops that actually can. Uh, but the problem with this is that we're soon going to have to deal with the, with the bloody revolutionaries and all their stupid ideals. I'm going to have to keep this about 100% because I already know what's going to happen. They're going to start revolting. This is how it starts, people. They're going to start revolting and thinking, yeah, we can totally push around the government. The government's so weak right now. And I'm going to be like, uh, you, you want to say that to my face? You, 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 you want to say that to my face? Okay. You're like one point ahead of me. Sweden's like a couple points ahead of me. Okay. If I literally just build up my army a little bit, I should be able to stay in the great power range, which is what I kind of want to do. We're almost to the point where I can start supporting everything again. Get about 500k. 37k in my bank, which is what I need to keep. And... Now we're just down to 500k, so once we pay back that 500k, we are debt free. And then we can just go relax and have a good power Sunday, whatever. Uh, probably we open some of my factories just to make me look stronger. Okay. We open my factory. Do not do me an event of the Panama Canal. See? <laughs> I jumped up to 7th place because I reopened all my factories. <laughs> oh, that makes me laugh. Okay. So yeah, I just literally just pulled a WTF on all those people that were trying to catch up to me. Oh man, they must be so mad. They must be like, gosh dang it, we were just right there. We were right there. How do we not? I'm like, it's magic. If you believe in magic, that's where magic happens. So yeah, and as you guys can see, uh, the war is about to go into the opposite effect. It's about to go into the unfavor, which is going to be nice to see. My factories are all closing down again, don't get me wrong, I'm not, I don't have really good factories right now. Just because of, like, reasons, but... I do have an almost competent economy, because I almost pay back almost all my loans. Lazy needs to learn how to adapt, okay? Once I pay back all my loans, I should have a really good economy, and I should be able to start taxing my people to the right amount. Not to the amount that's really crucial and could kill us eventually. As you guys can see, I'm already fifth right now in terms of industry, which is what I told you. Okay. Get back the rest of this. And there we go, everyone! We are officially debt-free! What, what, what? Third time I've gone debt-free in this game. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, that actually does make me pretty happy. I'm now officially debt-free. 
I don't have to worry about that anymore. I can just relax. And let's see, can I conquer Kuba? No, Kuba is already owned. Oh, you guys work fast. I want maybe some of this over here. Okay, I'll go look around the world and go see who I can kind of influence to be mine. Burma? Nah. Philippines? Nah, they, they seem like they have trouble. Uh, Japan would be nice, but I know they're going to become a great power here eventually. So, not them. But, let's see, who would be a much better... Canada. You know what? Yeah, let's do it. Let's invest into Canada. Canada's like a smart option. Then we get like all this cool industry and we get all this cool people. Yeah, totally. Let's go invest in Canada. And we've already been discredited. <laughs> Didn't take long, people. Didn't take long. Okay. So now that we've officially paid back all of our debts, we have a decent amount of money. It's now start time to start giving first give back our social security that way people are much less angry at us and that way they get a little bit of spending power uh let's see what does people want right now planned economy thank you i like planned economy too so once we do that next what we need to do is also buy all the materials contentious election violent oh no okay now what the next part we need to do is increase our thing to about 50 increase this to about 50 i don't want to go any more than 50 50 Increase this all the way, and decrease this to buy one, because I only want to keep two tariffs. Uh, reopen all these factories one more time, and yeah, there we go. And now I can actually see how many factories I actually have. Well, I have a lot of factories, people. <laughs> oh, gosh. So, and I'm apparently dropping to ninth place? Why? Huh. This whole eighth and ninth place deal is really really competitive I gotta say that right now I basically they're basically forcing me to go fight a war very very soon let's see how do I start peace with you yes I do can't fight you because you're part of somebody's sphere can't fight you can't fight you I can't fight anyone right next to me wow hmm well what I could do is do an international war against somebody Portugal maybe no Portugal sphere by the British that'd be terrible you're sphere by the British you're being attacked by Dutch, by Denmark, who apparently could actually conquer you. That's actually kind of weird. <laughs> um, uh, what about you, Persia? You're civilized. Hmm. I don't want to waste my time with that. Hmm. Is everyone literally now like... How about you guys? Oh, you're friendly. You're friendly. Not worth it. Hmm. I have to figure out somebody, though. Somebody. Well, I could, I could definitely sign a Geneva Convention. I'd give me some more prestige, but, hmm. America, America, America. Gosh dang it, America, you have, like, everyone over here. Okay, that's a little bit unfair, don't you think? And I can't attack you either, because you guys are basically also friends with, uh, the British. Hmm. Okay, so... Let's see. There is absolutely no one to attack. Wow. You know, that's a really shocking revelation for me to just realize. So, basically, since I can't gain power that way, I'm basically going to have to gain power the other way. Which is through massive militaristic builds. So once this army's done right here... I'm basically going to fix up all my armies, and then I'm going to... Actually, we could probably start creating my uh, lethal... Yeah, fill about seven artillery. Wait, wait, do I need seven? Uh, no, that's a little bit overkill. Uh, no, seven's about good, because I'm going to have to also upgrade this army. Also build two more... Uh, two more of those guys. And there we go. We're basically going to just have to keep ourselves from losing great power status by basically being the ultimate person. Also, I may actually enter this war just to make sure, you know, this would actually be a good idea. Enter this war, make sure that the, Brit the Germans don't do anything. Yeah, you know what? Let's do this. This is probably a stupid idea. But let's intervene in this war. Make sure that these guys basically fight this to a status quo make sure I get the prestige from this event okay and with that prestige I use it to basically uh, propel myself to greatness if you know what I mean 
Keep my army over here. I think this army is going to be strong enough to fight any Germans that actually do try to land on the continent. I just know how to prepare for any Germans that try to fight me over here. That might be a little bit more difficult. Because, yeah. But, in the meantime, we can just enjoy the casual war we are in right now. Which shouldn't be that hard because we're going to be winning this anyways. Because we basically almost got the conquest annex causes Belli almost done. And all the attacker blockade... <laughs> That's kind of stupid. All the attacker blockade stuff that they had is now gone. So now we basically win no matter what. This is an awesome day. Like seriously, this is awesome. So now 4, 3, 2, 1. And now I'm back to 7th great power. What is with these great powers? Are we literally like neck and neck at the end? It's like they're just giving out great power awards. Like, hey, you're a great power now. You're a great power now. You're a great power now. Hey, you're a great power now. Hey, do you want to, do you know something about a great power? Hey, you're one now. Uh, yes, it almost sounds like a racket or something. <laughs> Just imagine that. Just imagine a racket, people. Just imagine, like, a gigantic racket with all the great powers. Like, who's a great power at this point? Uh, I'll just make all the capitalists mad because I am definitely neck and neck with other people. Okay, um, fully support. Can I fully support everything? Yes, I can. Wow. My economy's doing awesome if I can fully support everything. I'll just fully support. Wow, my... My projection for money is just insane. Yeah, we should have... Okay, we can also decrease taxes, of course, to the people. We can go back to... I'm going to try to keep a 2000 in the bank. That way I can monetize or modernize, make sure they don't, like, do too many stuff. Apparently, they're, like, trying to seize my land, which... Uh, okay, you guys move. You guys move out of here, because I don't want you guys to start getting all of my good horsemen. You guys did get some of my good horsemen, so I'm going to break them off. You guys go right here. All you guys combine right here. Create this big new gigantic unit, and I'll start dispersing you guys here very, very soon. To go fix up all my other armies that apparently need fixing. Alright, we have an eyes on this. Surge of socialism. Yes, we actually did have socialism in power for like a couple years. And then somehow the liberals took power. Don't know how that happened. I literally had a backlash against the, the communists with a gigantic liberal movement. Oh, and we finally get an army. Thank goodness. And the liberals took power. Please tell me they're not laissez-faire. You know, actually, that, I actually don't mind laissez-faire because I actually did build up my economy the way I liked it. So, by all means, be as laissez-faire and useless as possible. As we go destroy late factories, good, discredited. We're going to go, oh my goodness, the Germans are terrible. Hey, Netherlands, would, would you guys give me military access? No. Okay, so the Germans basically have a good escape goat if they ever need one. But two days, and now we're getting the bonus from them not annexing. And as usual, the Germans have a ton of heavy... Oh, why did I think of this? Hey, America! There we go. Go kick their butts, America. <laughs> go send your suicide ships around. Because I know that's what you like to do a lot, is send your suicide ships everywhere. Oh my goodness. This should be, this should basically just give the, the uh, people a very hard time. And let's see, do I have all my troops made? Yes, I do. So let's see. You guys needed a, no cavalry, but you guys needed a little bit of, you needed about three, Wait, wait. You need about. Go back, go back. Ah, dang. One, two, three. Go back. There we go. Send that 9k of cannons all the way over here. And there we go. That completes my army over there. And let's see. Germany is now dealing with way more bigger issues now. Now that their blockades are definitely now being ineffective because now they have America on my side. And even if they do go send that really, really powerful death stack that somehow is kind of scary now that I think about it. Oh my goodness, I have so much money right now, too. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm going to take one break, people. Actually, I'll wait. So, we're just going to continue on, and I have really a ton of money now that I have such a good economy. Oh, I, I praise myself so much. Like, seriously, great economy equals great time you're having with everyone. Oh, America's kicking butt now. With all the just basically providing distractions for me, which is very good. If, if they provide distraction, that's what I need. If the Germans are distracted, that's what I need. Okay. 
And let's see, we could also get some... Let's get some semi-automation. Because semi-automation would be really helpful. And... Oh my goodness, I believe we have a battle here for next episode. I want to thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.